We are talking to Terry Moore, one of the celebrities at this year's showcase. Terry, tell us a bit about your career. One year I had 30 national magazine covers like Look, Life, and on and on and on. I was a cover girl too. What role are you most associated with? Mighty Joe Young. I never thought it would be a hit. Everybody remembers me from that movie. You have a story about Clark Gable. It was during World War II. I was probably early teens. My mother and I were walking outside of MGM, and she said, there's Clark Gable. And I looked up, and he was in his uniform. I never saw anything so gorgeous in my life, and I screamed and faded, and he caught me. Welcome to the show, Terry. I'm glad you were able to make the trip up here with us. Tell me, do you like this part of California? Well, what I could see as we flew in was very impressive. Rugged cliffs, rolling hills, miles and miles of sand dunes. Yeah, it all adds up to a wonderful place to live if you're forced into it. <laughs> Terry, did you like to do comedy as well as drama? I did them all. I used to do... Um, Red Skelton, Dean Martin, and, and Jerry Lewis, Ben Crosby, Bob Hope. I worked with Bob a lot. I traveled with him. I remained such good friends right to the end. I worked with all of them. And, Terry, you're a comparative newcomer to the Hollywood scene, and I'm sure we'd all be interested in learning more about you. Would you like to tell us about yourself? All right, Bob, where shall I start? With your phone number. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Terry, that was just a slip. Oh, it's all right. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad you're sure. Just tell us... Uh... <laughs> Just tell us anything you want, Terry. For example, what are your hobbies? Well, I ride horseback, I cook, I love to knit, and I'm a licensed pilot. I fly my own plane. What a coincidence. That's my hobby, too. Really, Bob? Yeah, what size needles do you knit with? <laughs> Terry, I understand you have an interesting story on how you got the name Terry Moore. Right. Well, actually, Harry Cohen changed it because I got my first grown-up role opposite Glenn Ford, and Harry Cohen said, we cannot have two Fords in one movie. I turned to my mother, and he said, what is your maiden name? And she said, Big Moore. He said, that's too long. We'll make it more. And he said, what do you want for your first name? And the part was a real Tom girl. Her name was Terry. And believe it or not, I'm the first girl that anyone knows of who was na ever named Terry. What kind of a plane do you fly, honey? A Cessna two-seater. I've got over a hundred hours in the air. No kid, Never any trouble? Oh, not once, Bob. As a matter of fact, I feel that I'm safer when I'm up in the air than I am when I'm on the ground. Don't look at me. <laughs> well, I've told you about my hop. <laughs> then, of course, there's my work. You see, my big break was getting that wonderful part in Come Back, Little Sheba. It's a gripping picture with great moments of drama. It's the story of a disillusioned doctor whose love for this young girl plunges him into despair. And then in an alcoholic frenzy, he tries to murder his wife with a butcher knife. Sounds like a sequel to Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> Terry, you did movies starting as a child actor. Did you also do radio? I always did a lot of radio and loved that. I loved doing radio, and I did the radio while my braces were on. I played um, Barbara Winsocket on Date with Judy, and I had four steady radio shows a week. How did making radio compare to the movies? I liked radio because you didn't have to dress up and have hot lights or go on hard locations. Terry, being in a picture that's up for an Academy Award must be quite a thrill. Oh, it is, Bob, and, well, even a bigger thrill is being here tonight. Really? Oh, of course. Why... Now, how many young people starting a show business get a chance to appear with one of the truly great performers? Well, if you insist. Well, not only a great artist, but, well, one of the most popular men in the whole world. Oh, don't lay it on so thick, but louder. Honestly, Bob. <laughs> Honestly, Bob, this is one of the great thrills of my life, to think, to think I'm actually going to meet Bing Crosby. Any thoughts on this year's showcase? It's wonderful. Just wonderful to be doing radio again. I can't wait. I love it.